Hello and welcome to today's webinar presentation. As your facilitator, let me make my introductions. I'm Wendy Gill, a mixed farming officer for our Ag Services Department based at Forbes. Today, I sit down with my colleague, Callan Thompson, in this pre-prepared virtual presentation. Today's discussion will be centered around goal setting. So goal setting is an invaluable tool that gives you and your business direction. It enables you to map out your activities and it will also allow you to lead to a successful outcome for your business without getting caught up in non-essential activities and having noise interrupt where your business needs to be going. This webinar will start you on your journey to setting goals for your farm business and it is an event that is supported by the ADAPT project, which is run through the Ag Services Department at Central West Local Land Services. This project is supported and funded through the Australian Government National Land Care Program. Let me introduce my presenter today. I'm really thrilled to be able to have this chat with Callan. Callan is the mixed farming officer based at the Central West Local Land Services at the Coonabarabran office. Callan provides livestock and crop producers with advice that enables them to make decisions that lead to positive social and environmental and financial out outcomes for their business. Callan's background is varied. He's spent 10 years in an agronomy background around the Coonabarabran district, providing producers with advice on cropping, fodder production and pasture management. More recently, Callan has worked for the Northern Territory Government based out of Catherine as a senior extension agronomist. In this past role, Callan was working with cattle producers to develop dry land and irrigated crop and improve pasture production systems. His focus on this work was around diversifying pastoral production enterprises to include both hay, grain and pasture in their production systems. So I welcome Callan and I'll hand over to him today as we move into his presentation on goal setting. As we do this, I'll just change and pivot this technology. So just bear with me. Welcome, Callan, how are you going? Well, thanks, Wendy, and thanks everyone for watching this uh, webinar. I'm just gonna share my screen with you. Thanks, Callan, that's great. So yeah, as Wendy said, today I'm going to be talking about goal setting for your business. And this is part of our ADAPT project. So the aim of this project is to give producers the knowledge and skills they need to um, adapt to changes in either climate or market. And we see goal setting as a really important part of this. Uh, we've gone through a lot of changes over the last couple of years with drought, and now we've had a bit of rain. Now it's a really good time to think about goal setting some producers are in the opportunity or in a situation I guess where they've sold some of their stock um, and they may be thinking of transitioning into another enterprise type so getting goals out there can really map out how, how to do that and, and how to do that successfully and it can also be a, a good tool on that road to recovery working out where you want to be where you want your business to be and and really having a strong understanding of what you need to do to get there So today I'm going to give you a quick explanation of a vision statement and, and how to do a SMART goal. Um, we're going to talk about identifying some risks and opportunities and we'll give you some tools so that you can um, finish up after this, you watch this presentation and set some goals for yourself and your own business. So a good question is why do we set goals? So goals can work like a roadmap. They can outline specific steps that need to be accomplished to succeed success or to, to get you where you want to go. Goals are really good at a really good tool to improve communication and maintain direction for all mem members of your business. So if all the members of your business, whether it be family or workers, understand why you're doing things, how they lead to, to those main goals and, and those are well communicated. It just means everyone's on the same page. Everyone's working together for, 
for the joint goal. And they can also help managers focus on success and not get caught up on distractions. So often with our farm businesses, we've got things that we, we know we need to do and, and other things come out of nowhere. Looking at those and analysing them and asking yourself, do these fit into my goals? Do these get me to where I want to go? Or are they just a distraction? Is that something that I can forget about or um, pass on to someone else to do? So first of all, we're going to talk about a vision statement. So what a vision statement is, it's a description of what you want to achieve in the long run. So in the next five to 10 years, and it's really focused on your values. So things that mean something to you, things that are important to you. So, so there might be some people watching this webinar who may have a vision statement similar to the one you can see on your screen. So to create a strong farm business that can be managed by my children so I can retire to the coast. That might be a vision statement for somebody who's at the later, they've, they've got to develop farm business, they're at the later stages of their business career and they might want to palm, uh, I shouldn't say palm the farm off to their children, they might want to pass the farm on to their children and um, take up fishing. Um, someone who's younger might um, want to build wealth and equity so that they can buy the neighbour's property. Um, so they're very different values, very different goals and vision statement, depending on where they are in their in their um, in their business. So many of you have probably heard about smart goals. So when we're setting goals, we need those goals to be specific. So they need to state exactly what you want to accomplish. We need those goals to be measurable. So you need to be able to track your progress to make sure that you're achieving what you plan to achieve. Your goals need to be achievable. They can be ambitious, but they shouldn't be outrageous. So for me, I'm not a big guy. One of my goals has never been to play front row for the uh, Wallabies. So then you need to have a goal that's achievable. Um, yeah. You also need your goals to be realistic. So something that's relevant to your life. So yeah, something that fits into your business and fits into your, your vision. And one of the most important things that needs to be time bound. So you need to give yourself enough time to achieve your goal, but you also want to set a deadline. You need to have something to work towards. So here's a couple of examples of some SMART goals. So one might be, I will increase my breeder numbers by 20% by 2021. So you've got some, some really clear goals. That's a very clear goal. It's got some numbers in there, very specific where you want to be. Um, it's also got a timeline in there. So um, that's a really good example of, of, a, um, of a probably more short-term goal. You might have another goal that's I'll oh, fence off five kilometres of waterways by June 2020. Again, that's that's quite achievable. Um, it's especially uh, when I developed this presentation two months ago, that would have been very achievable. Um, it's got a number there explaining very specific how many kilometres you want to do, and it's also got a time frame for you. Goal, it's really important that our goals are time targeted. So we might have our vision statement, as I mentioned before, that's the next five to 10 years. Your long-term goals are things that you might achieve in the next three to five years. Your medium-term goals are your things that you'll achieve in the one to three years. And short-term goals, which are three months to one year. And then underneath that, you can have your daily goals. So if you sit down at the breakfast table before work, and write down all the things that you plan to get done for that day. That's um, that could be your daily goals. But all those things need to feed up into achieving that that those long term goals and that vision statement. So every goal that's within that daily goal is helping you achieve your long term goals. So something in the next three to five years. So we were running these workshops um, out before COVID nineteen. We we're running them. Um, in front of people and, and there was a bit of interaction. So we were asking some questions to get people to think about 
um, some of the, the ways that they could set goals in their business. And one of the really good tools is to go and do a SWOT analysis. So look at the strengths, weaknesses, threats and opportunities of your business and work out where you want to go from that. One of the questions that we asked um, our producers that came along to these workshops is what risk does climate have on your business? So people um, throughout some of the obvious things like dry weather, frost, um, flooding, um, all those sort of things that, um, yeah, are a risk to your business. We also discussed what opportunities climate might bring to your business. So a few people said that um, through the drought, an opportunity that they had was uh, being able to feed lot lambs and that ended up being quite profitable. Um, we had producers mention that they were able to buy cheap stock and feed lot them and be able to, um, yeah, make a, a reasonable profit off that given the, um, the poor circumstances. So there's also, there's always opportunities um, with climate and, and there's talk of increased rainfall in summertime for people in the northern part of our region, that might be more summer cropping. Uh, you really want to look at your, your risk and, and then the opportunities of your business when you're setting these goals. So it, again, in, in the workshop, we handed out this um, spreadsheet, which um, we'll make available to you through our DAT website, which is where this um, webinar will be sitting. So you shouldn't have to look too hard to find it. So we asked people to sort of come up with a vision statement and in the workshops, this was just an activity. If you were going to be doing this for your business, you'd really want to sit down with all the people that are important to your business, so um, family and managers, and and work this stuff out together um, to sort of to, to build this sort of vision statement and line up these goals. So we asked um, the people at our workshops to think about some of the um, goals that they might have to do with weather and to fill in a couple of different um, options in these. So we've said that there could be goals from the environmental side of their business. So um, for a long-term goal, that might be to maintain 100% ground cover in riparian zones. And again, we've got a date there, March uh, 2023. Um, it might be a medium term goal like planting um, 800 trees in fenced off areas, again with a date, or it could be a short term goal, which is the one I mentioned before, fencing off 5 k's of waterways. For more production focus, and, and this is something that might be relevant to people at the moment, given the recent rain, a long term goal might be to increase breeder numbers by 30% by June 2023. Um, and to do that, that person might have to um, plant more tropical pastures if they're in the northern part of our region. Um, and they might have a medium term goal of in the next 12 months to, to plant a paddock of tropical grasses. And a short term goal, so um, something that they might be looking to do right now, is so clover and um, legumes in that paddock that will be tropical grasses. So sowing the legumes, then sowing the grasses, then enabling them to increase their um, carrying capacity. All those, that short term goal leads up to that longer term goal. And then that can lead to the vision statement. So that farm may be more sustainable by having um, more production of livestock and, and they're more for more profitability um, so they can achieve their vision statement. So that's just a, a quick example. Um, as I said, you can download this off our website and it's a just a very simple way of throwing in some of your um, your goals. We've also got our financial goals and our social goals. So um, your social goals are, are probably more around the succession and, and really what you want from your life. So um, it might be to take more trips away um, with, with children, um, going camping and things like that. Um, it might be to attend a succession planning workshop. It might be a bit of a, a medium term goal. So um, yeah, that's that's our spreadsheet. So that's it for me. Um, I hope you've um, enjoyed this webinar. This is something that we'll be, these sort of activities are something that we'll be doing 
through all of our DAPT um, face to face workshops. So we'll be going through different um, parts of the DAPT workshop and the DAPT program. So things like business, soils, pastures, and we'll be discussing what some of the goals at the start of the workshop are and some of the goals at the end of the workshop. So stay tuned for those events when we can um, get out and do more face-to-face -face workshops. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we look forward to um, catching up with you and, and seeing you then. Um, my mobile number sh should be on your screen. So um, yeah, feel free to give me a call if, if you wanted to talk about anything that you've seen today, if it interests you. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks very much, Callan. That was a great presentation to really get our producers thinking about their um, their goals and, and where they should be focusing some of their attention at as well. Um, Cal, I suppose one uh, comment there was you mentioned about um, having having the need to be able to sit down and, and take the time to plan with your um, farm workers, your family members as well as part of this process. I suppose it's important to note that uh, this probably shouldn't just be a, a set and forget document, that it's certainly goal setting um, documents and activities should be really remain flexible and, and shouldn't be, uh, I suppose, a static event on their own and should be really reviewed quite often. Would, uh, would that be a comment that you'd agree with? Yeah, Wendy, I think um... I guess we always get the comment that um, everyone's really busy and, and they are. I'm sure everyone's really busy at the minute trying to get um, finished sewing. And um, often people say they don't have time to plan, but um, what a lot of um, successful farmers and successful business people do is they really, they make that time to plan so that um, they know that every activity they're doing is actually leading to what, what they really want to achieve, um, not just doing something for the sake of doing it. Um, so I think it's I think it's important that we take that time and and as you say, planning something and goal setting something that's not stat not going to stay the same. So you want it to be fluid. You want that document to be something that might be up in the the door in in the office somewhere where people are going all the time and can see. But um, there's no problem with putting it on a whiteboard and and catching up at a toolbox meeting or or once a month with your your business partners or family and saying like what what do we want to change is there things in here that we want to go through to another direction is that going to reach help us reach our vision statement faster or or is it going to set those long-term goals um set them up to happen a lot far, uh, quicker and and make them easier to achieve so um as I say, by all means, put it on a whiteboard and, and make it something that you can change quite readily. Yeah, great. That's um, some great tips of thought too, Callan, about um, ways to engage just practically in, in your business and around your house, how to actually utilise that, that document as a planning document, but also to make it visually part of the business uh, structure in the day-to-day -day, um, components of, of operating. So thank you very much for that um, those insights. So for our audience and our listeners, uh, if they would like to contact Callan to discuss um, further points around the, his presentation today, his details are currently provided on the screen. Uh, if you'd also like some more details about the ADAPT project, I've also included uh, Pip Doolan's our project manager for our ADAPT project. Um, her contact details are also listed below as well. And this recording, as Callan did mention, will be available on the ADAPT project Central West Local Land Services website. So um, if you'd like to re-listen to this presentation, uh, you can gain that access to that content as well through that website. Um, and all ag staff would be happy to engage and direct you or assist you in um, in getting access to any of that information as well. So uh, despite the circumstances of being on a virtual presentation, which is a different format to the original delivery uh, point of, of this type of presentation, uh, we do thank you for uh, dialing in and listening today. Um, that does bring us to the conclusion of, of this little presentation. So we do hope you found it useful. 
um, straight after this presentation for those people that are engaging on an online uh, webinar portal system, there will be a five question quick survey that um, will look at any feedback of learnings that you may take away from this presentation and both Callan and I would really appreciate uh, any feedback that you do give to, um, to today's presentation. Um, so thanks very much Callan for your time this afternoon and, uh, and I look forward to hosting once again a, a future Ag Services virtual presentation. I, um, I hope to be talking to you all soon and until then, have a great day.